the price of Bitcoin continues to break down. Now, it's not looking too great for the bulls. We'll be going through the higher time frames, talk about the possibilities of where the price could bottom out, or are we going to go to $49,000 and $42,000 in the next coming weeks, guys? We'll be discussing that in today's episode. But overall, most importantly, going through the lower time frames, because we'll be going in detail of what could be the next possible scenario. Just like yesterday, we talked about, hey, we want at least a bounce to the 382 Fibonacci, speculating on a fourth wave to continue a fifth wave to the downside, at least the 382 touch. This is too shallow where we are getting the reaction to get that continuation to the downside. So we did get that bounce. When we do analyze the scenario yesterday, we did manage to hit the 382. And this is where we basically got the movement to the downside very early this morning. Managed to jump into a short position, taken significant amount of profit obviously on that wave five i did have some limit take profits already this happened during the night with a position protected and now speculating on a long position i will be explaining these scenarios right away in today's episode remember you do have an insane bonus 10 percent cash back on bluffing guys check the link down below in the description it is a no kyc platform check it out right away of course you do have bybit that has an airdrop of 500 dollars if you want to trade some of these altcoins and you even have some meme coins such as dogecoin guys check it out you do get a 500 dollar position guys when you sign up through that link that says $500. Claim that bonus on Bybit, guys, and have a free trade going on. Let's dive in right away through the technical analysis. We're going to zoom out, and then we'll zoom in here on these scenarios, what I'm looking at, because for me, it's looking very, very nice. I really like trading these kind of waves and trying to predict where we could get those bounces and those rejections. Now, we did claim those lows from the 15th of August, creating a swing failure pattern. It is already pumping several hundred dollars from that major wick that we formed very early this morning, which is an acceptable long position. I actually longed the back test with bullish CVD divergence forming on the chart, which is already been, we've already claimed the highs here on most of the exchanges. So we were forming lower lows on the CVD on the rest of the exchanges, not on Bybit, and higher lows on the price action. And this is basically where I'm speculating on that long position, which is in confluence of the back test that we do have from the 15th of August, right? So you're coming back down here to kind of back test that low. Yes, it is aggressive. We are very much in bearish momentum and we could be going to lower levels and I do expect lower levels in the next coming days. However, going through the lower time frame technical analysis, I'm going to explain a little bit what kind of waves do we will we form right in the next coming hours right to take those trading opportunities it's going to be very difficult for a sign of strength here guys if we want to see a sign of strength we at least need to get above this pivot high which is from yesterday at $59,800 and i'm going to explain why right away we have formed five waves to the downside right so we got those five waves to the downside, very aggressive with the fifth wave, still very much valid. If the third wave is not the shortest, that is fine. The shortest is the first wave. So we form very aggressive five waves. Even though if the price corrects and bounces all the way up to 58,800 or $59,000, this is still very likely going to be a lower high. So it's going to be very, very difficult to jump into some longs as we're moving up. Feeling that this is a sign of strength, I'm going to say absolutely no, no, no. I will be looking for shorts at this area if we do get that big, strong relief rally, which I think it's unlikely to happen. However, we need to be ready for those decisions, right, for those levels to be hit. And that is obviously getting above the fourth wave. This peak high is, for me, very interesting. If the price were to manage to get to $58,300, if we just claim that liquidity above that lower high in the next coming hours, maybe between today and tomorrow, this is a zone that I would speculate that it's going to be a failed breakout from this valley area low of the entire range that we formed throughout the last week, right? The valley area low is right over here. And even though that would be a sign of strength locally, 
I would say that it would be a fake out to the upside. This will not manage to maintain our support just with a pure speculation that we could be in a second wave corrective structure, which can go all the way up to the 38 to the 78 Fibonacci, even the 0.88. Okay, preferably not the 0.88 Fib, but even though the 78 Fibonacci, and then get that continuation to the downside. So, even though if the price does manage to get back inside of the value range, it's going to be very difficult to see that it, if it's a sign of strength. We need to at least get above this peak high to believe that we are likely going to get that continuation to the upside above sixty thousand dollars. So. Any bounces to the upside likely going to be a lower high formation and I would expect lower prices for Bitcoin, unfortunately. And that has to do with this structure right over here in the end. This is very impulsive. This has been very corrective throughout the last few days. And when we zoom out to the higher time frames, we are running out of bullish case scenarios, right? When we zoomed out here the last few days, we were talking about a contracting diagonal, very much possible, form another wave to the upside, even an expanding diagonal right over here, right? We're probably just forming, okay, some slightly higher lows right there. Looking at the higher highs right over here, could this be an expanding diagonal? We're forming one, two, three, four. We're going to get the bounce five. Well, obviously, this is invalidated as we have lost this pivot low. So it's not looking too great. The only bullish case scenario that there is left here for this to be an impulsive move up and we are going to get continuation to the upside in the next coming weeks is that ABC flat structure. So we're looking at this as a wave one right over here and this right over here, an ABC flat. The problem is with this ABC flat, it is extremely longer than the impulsive move up here in this wave one. It's something like six, seven times longer than this impulse, which is really decreasing the probabilities, right? It's, it's worth just saying, okay, you know, we're losing momentum. We need to stick bearish for some day trade and scalp setups, okay? So without a doubt, we want to look for the shorts as well, be with the trend. Look for some possible reversal setups as well. Just like I said, this is a valid SFP, a valid back test. We could just get a relief rally of a couple of thousand dollars. It is very much possible. Be defensive on those trading setups. So that scenario of the ABC flat here is just very, very low probability just because of the timing. The second wave, yeah, it is fine to be two times longer than the first wave, even th three times. Yeah, it's, it's pretty average, but not six, seven, eight times longer, right, than the impulsive move up. That is obviously decreasing the probabilities. And we get in that harmonic pattern, that godly harmonic pattern leading the way here that is actually in confluence with the possibility of this being an ABC, right? Very three wavy, not very impulsive. So we're getting that harmonic here leading the way, already hitting take profit two, which is the C point. And the take profit three is actually coming all the way down to the A wave here from the leg down of this harmonic. So I think it is without a doubt a very high possibility that we could be heading down there, guys, because we're running out of higher time frame bullish case scenarios. Will I be bearish once we get below $49,000? Well, absolutely not. This is a zone to look for a liquidity grab. And if we do get that recovery back above that low from the 5th of August, well, this is going to be bullish, just like we formed here those major wicks throughout the last few months, right? You're testing the lows, you're getting a major liquidity grab and a reaction, a lot of buying pressure limit orders. Same scenario right over here. You dip down below, okay? This pivot from the 1st of May, big massive recovery. Same with the lows here from the 5th of July. You claim it on the 5th of August, big recovery. So I would be leaving that that is very much a possibility. There's going to be a lot of buying pressure, of course, uh, below $49,000. So I do see that a possibility. I will not be long in a falling knife, only if we do get a reaction and we start getting above this pivot low from the 5th of August. I will start thinking of a swing long position, low leverage, low capital, because it's going to take weeks, of course, to get that pretty strong recovery. So that is one higher time frame scenario. The bears are in complete control at the moment, and it does look like that locally, these bullish case scenarios, we're just running out. The only scenario is that ABC flat, 
claiming the lows here. Uh, it's too long in timing. It's it's more. It makes more sense that this is an impulsive move down. This is an ABC, and we're just getting ready for you know the next leg here to the downside in a possible WXY, okay, or an ABC if you wish. Um, and then we'll be analyzing very, very carefully if we do get down below $49,000. There is a higher time frame scenario that I want to talk about, which is that diamond reversal pattern. Not a huge, massive fan of a diamond reversal pattern, but overall, we need to say that, you know, it is a possibility that this could be playing out, okay? We could be forming a higher low here at the $54,000 range, right? 54, 55. It's still very much valid. We got the spike in the middle with the drop from the first week of August. And hey, why not back test these lows over here? It's going to be very interesting to see in the next coming days how we develop. And if we do maintain as support this range, well, it's going to be looking pretty, pretty good. A first good sign of strength, like I said, would be getting above 59,800, which was yesterday's highs. Uh, getting above this level would be, without a doubt, a good sign of strength. I do see the possibility of price continuing to the upside, attempting to move to higher levels. However, um, yeah, until we do not get above that level, I do believe that we could be very likely forming a lower high structure here. When we do zoom in on the lower time frame, such as the 15 minute, like I explained at the beginning, it does look like that we could be forming a uh, wave one here with five waves, okay? And we're just in the formation right now of a wave two that could actually go all the way up to this area, right? It could retrace to the 382, the 50%, the 78. Wave twos can be very, very complex regarding Fibonacci. So we're just gonna have to be paying attention very carefully on the lower time frames to analyze those trading opportunities. I'm already in a short position, did take some profits here at the lows. It was a limit take profit and entered along here on this retracement, speculating on an ABC scenario. So depending on what the price does, you know, after breaking out from this level, we'll be deciding if it is looking very strong and take some profits or basically leave the position open because maybe the price is just pumping out very aggressively and we're getting a full reversal here. So we'll be analyzing very carefully with the Legends Trading community, guys. If you want to join the Discord, you have the first link down below is to join the Discord, guys. That is where me and the rest of the coaches provide daily analysis and updates and possible trading setups, of course. Thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a live stream later on, guys, and I will see you there.